Welcome back to Can of Wormholes, a really creative puzzle game that has this simple mechanic with a bunch of interesting consequences. I've just made it to a new world, and this is the tail of the ship with its own batteries and danger chambers. I gotta bring my sentient can over to solve some puzzles, shoot some wormholes into the wormhole collector so I can collect some worms in there. Well, this is weird. How do I get to the goal that looks like a two? It's surrounded by walls and fences. Sure, there's a dot over here. But that's it. Do I have to use socking to my advantage here? I've already failed. Impressive, actually. What could I possibly even do? What the hell just happened? I was just thinking about whether I was punching up on my weight class and should go to a different world. And then this happened. I folded my tail up. I can become taller. Oh my god, I'm a giant tall noodle. What on earth? What if I eat? Wah, wah. What if I rotate? Wah. Oh, I'm super tall. And now I'm on top of the walls. I got an achievement. It says free solo. Yeah, I'm basically Alex Honnold. Completely just jumping over the walls to get to the goal. I might be punching up on my weight class here, but that is such an interesting mechanic. So there was this tiny little gate on the side that pops up, I believe, right? No, this doesn't have the side gate now, right? Or does it? Well, what about the fence? The fence is kind of a side gate. If I go like this and then eat, no, it doesn't work either. So I push up against the wall and set it up so it can be sent over, maybe not that far. And then can I use this? No, it still doesn't work that way. Then what if I like... Oh, there we go. So any fence can be used to prop up my snake. Then how did I get up on the wall again? I think it was with the pond, right? What if... Or no, I had to eat. Oh, I had to eat, that's right. Okay, so I need a backup before I ate. I think if I reset, I'll see that I actually have a ton of possibilities. You see, all I really need to do is get the dot to go down or to the side. And if I push the dot here, I could then eat there as well and bring the tail up. And that might be the key. Because I think then all I need to do is have that there. Actually, I'm not sure. Does he back it up, move it over? Nope, never mind. Still doesn't work. What if I bring the dummy worm to there? And then try bringing the tail up? Because I could back up a little bit. Push that in. But not very far. How about a setup that looks more like this? Eh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I push the dummy worm here. Come in from the side. I could then... Push that up. No, still don't get there. But if I stand all the way up, I can then shortcut over. Make a little progress? Yes, get in the water. Stand up there. Got my tail in the water. Got myself over. Yeah, so this is tough. But I'm at least starting to kind of get the patterns behind it. Stand up in the water. Use the fence to prop me up. This is tricky. What other tricks lie in this area, huh? Because this feels like a mechanic that can have so many consequences. Just being able to get on the walls. This one doesn't have a pond in the water. But it does have several strangely placed fences. So this is the first place I'd want to stand up. So I could eat here. I could stand up in this water. Oh, I can stand up in this water. Well, don't mind if I do. I can also go on top of the dead worms. How long can I stay on top of these things for? Not extremely far. If I reset and get this started by putting this worm into a possible workable position, what then could I do? Because I assume I can make it all the way over to this wall, but then no further. Maybe I could mess more with standing in water. Well, because eventually I do fall flat. Oh, so I see. The loose state is actually having my head touch the water. So the tail touching the water is perfectly fine. That actually changes a lot. What if I'm, like, on this worm? Can I do anything weird with it? Can I roll it? No, I can spin around. We... 
What if I reset again? Maybe there are still some shenanigans I can get up to. <gasps> what the fuck? I got an achievement called Sharper Than Expected. I can cut off my own tail? And there's a dot left in the water that can become a bridge. I guess that's what happens when you mess around with the puzzle of not having the faintest clue as to how to solve it. Okay, you know what? I will gain insight. Just this once. What do you have for me? Oh, this is interesting. It's its own puzzle. Yeah, okay. So that gets tall. But then I stand up, I come on here. And then I can come across as a bridge. I've already tried that. And then it just drops me here where I solve the puzzle. This doesn't actually help the problem I have, though. Oh my god. I can cut off my head, too! It's crazy how I'm learning all this stuff, but not the damn puzzle solution. Wait, maybe I could use this to my advantage. Maybe I can cut this in half. Ah. So I actually was supposed to learn the cutting now, because... One thing I can do is back this piece over and then back it to like here. I think that's almost all the bridging I need with this in position here. So all this experimentation was actually not for nothing. It was actually pretty important. I like that it didn't actually spoil the twist of the puzzle within the hint. In fact, the hint actually told me nothing. I had to just figure out how to slice and dice and get my way over to the goal. What a cool puzzle. What an absolutely brain melting puzzle. Oh my god, that took a lot of experimentation. This game just gets deeper and deeper, just how I like it. I'm too big for my hole. So this is where I'm supposed to actually learn to cut off my tail, isn't it? Because the static worms can't grow, so I have to shrink. So I almost feel like I have to start by pushing this food backwards. Just something about its current position doesn't seem right. Then I think I have to push it against its upper wall. Which I believe would look like that. And then I would have to do a really weird maneuver to get my tail up. But right now I can't pivot to go into water. So I need to go back a few steps before eating. And figure out how I'm going to get a worm friend over. Well, I have an idea. What if, um, well, if I leave it here, maybe that's just the exact distance I need. Because maybe I can back onto my tail, then come over here. Yeah, that works. I do stand in the water. Maybe this is all I need to solve the puzzle. Because I just need to walk across this fence. And time it perfectly. So I break myself into a very tiny worm. Aha! Like that. Tell me then, what is the point of the worm on this side? Maybe it's just not used right now? Don't know, but another puzzle solved. I must admit, I'm doing some very violent things to these worms, but it just feels right. That's a five size hole. How am I meant to grow? Is this the time that I cut my head off? Yeah, I bet it's possible somehow. If I push it up here, push against the wall, back out, and come into it with a bit of an S. It doesn't cut off my head though. Doesn't even come close to cutting off my head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. With the four long positioned here, can I now do some cut off -y? Maybe if I go like that, I can lose my tail. That doesn't quite help me grow. What if I reset, bring the four long here, and then slice it open there? I can now grow to five long. However, the three long is in an awkward spot. I need help to get it out. Well, how does it get out? Like that. Just like that. How do I get out now? Maybe I use the small one as a bridge? I don't see how that's going to happen. I feel like I'm onto something here. I guess if I become taller or a little longer, maybe that could help. How would that help exactly? Maybe I can do something with my tiny worm? I don't think so. I wouldn't really call it tiny worm. I guess I'd call it more great personality worm. Oh, maybe now what I'm supposed to do is actually set up. Yeah, the vertical parts. Because I was actually wondering when that was going to make a difference. Because now, surely I can do something, right? Maybe the positioning's wrong. Yeah, hold on. Let me back up. Move it up a bit. That might actually be what I'm looking for. Stand it all the way up, still grab it, still get in the water. 
And I think that might be exactly what I need. Thanks to the Mighty Worm and his great personality, I can actually get out, get the three long in, and then get myself in. Wow. These are brain-melting puzzles, but the solutions, they're so elegant. They just make sense. This looks like an absolutely giant puzzle. Oh, and the goal's really hard to see. It's behind me. It appears to be a five long, so I just need to grow once. Getting over to the other side looks absolutely terrible, though. Maybe this is a level where I have to cut off my own head. And I'd have to cut off my head in, an, in a way that it can suddenly revive itself. I'm not feeling too optimistic about the whole thing, but you never know. So maybe I gotta stand up here. Well, no, my head will still fall in the water. And that's how I lose. If I push this worm over here, maybe I can get some proper stand up. Like, stand it up there and then slicing off myself. Question is, how much of myself do I slice off? Because notice that my base is still in the water and it's locked there. A dead worm that's half in the water. I don't even know where to begin with that. Back it up a little. Because I'm not sure yet if I want to slice off this much worm or that much worm. Maybe there's a difference? Maybe the difference is that now I can actually move this around and move it around even further. Like if I eat this fully and slice off more of my tail, what does this even accomplish? I don't know, but I hope it does something good one day. I feel like I need a more concrete plan. I mean, clearly I need to get my five long snake across this gap. Question is, can I do it with only one obstacle being placed down? The distance is one, two, three, 11. So I actually need two things placed down to help me bridge the gap. And I don't even know how to get one of them out here. This is destroying my brain so unbelievably much. I feel like I have some of the right steps to get this. I'm definitely doing them out of order though. I'm not quite sure what needs to change. I need to start by getting my tail up once. Shouldn't matter which side. Then flipping over. Maybe keeping some of the water, maybe not. It would make sense to keep it in the water for a few reasons. Uh, one being I end up being the exact size I want to be after eating the two dots all the way to the right. I just feel like I should be able to do something a little more with this. Right, I can turn it up. Because maybe now I can push this around a little. Maybe leave it right here. Then get this worm into position. And then grow. Because I'm thinking about what if I slob on that worm's knob from above. So I tip over, become tall, and then kind of come down? And it's interesting, actually. This is like a third level. So I am floating above the blocks. Watch, I fall down onto the block, then fall down again to the ground. And then could fall down once more into the water. I'm wondering if being on this third level can help me at all. Again, everything just feels out of order. I got an achievement. Put a ring on it. Hold on. Nice. The worm's got a ring. That's cute. I can actually keep controlling it as time goes by, but it is losing, and I can't escape. Only other thing I can possibly think of is not even that far from what I have been doing. It's more that I'm just desperate and need something else to try. It probably won't even get me anything, but I figure... I go through the motions of getting my tail up. Flipping, I can't even flip myself over. I gotta push this over once. Flip myself over now. Because I was hoping I could push around this worm by the tall part. Well, I guess I kind of can. Wait, maybe that is the catch. Wait a second. Oh! There's kind of a level where they explored something similar to this in Snakebird. Where I have a long snake bird on a tiny platform that sticks up. I guess it's actually another snake bird. And you just push it over by the head. It falls through here, so it's a little... Oh, a little caveat. I can't fall down, though, but it can get to here. I will keep this messing around going right now. I think I need to push this over. But then I fall. So I need to back up a bit. Maybe like this. And then just barely get on. And this is going to be one hell of a maneuver if it works. Because it's right in front of a block, what if I push it over? That falls in the water, but I can still stand on it. But it's still short. But feels and smells like progress. I definitely need to push this over more, though. But I just fall off immediately. Oh, I'm so close! Let's back it up a bit, then. Maybe I could, like, push it with my tail or something? Let me just execute a quick turnaround here. Because right now... 
I could push it with the tail. That's how it's done! And now I'm on the platform here again. So that means I can push it down normally. And that means I can push this across further. Hold on, though. When I push it off, I fall in. So it's still not that easy. It's so close. It feels like I'm one step away from winning, though. I just don't know what it is. There has to be something I can do out here. I didn't come this far to be two blocks short. Is there any way that I can push this up while still being on it? Because I feel like what I would have to do is stand here, back up. Does this work? Well, I'm on it. Oh, it does work because then I can back up more. Oh my god, okay. This does have a lot of movement. And now I can make it here. Holy shit. The difficulty of puzzle has expanded dramatically, but it's done. That puzzle felt so good to get done. That was like three or five or seven different mechanics introduced in once. Are you kidding me? What a power spike. These six levels have been by far the hardest. To be fair, I am jumping a little bit forward, but honestly, I'm not complaining. I'm like shocked and excited and brain blasted all at once. It's like crazy mixed feelings. Let's look at this map progress. I got six out of 13. So I'm like halfway done with this world. I think I'll actually call it an episode here. This is incredibly challenging. What sort of demented puzzles are in the future? Find out next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and peace.